Tectonic shift. Shaping the future with innovation. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this new episode of Prompt Engineering Podcast. Today, we will compare and learn the Chat GPT 3.5 and Chat GPT 4. So, without wasting time, let's get started. While recording this podcast, we had the choice between two Chat GPT versions 3.5 and 4. To be more precise, we actually had the choice between these versions 3.5 Legacy and 3.5 Default. Legacy was already outdated when recording this episode. Therefore, in this course, we will only compare 3.5 and 4. The main differences between these two models can be summarized in three categories. Speed, reasoning and conciseness. Let's start with speed, the most obvious one. ChatGPT 3.5 is a lot faster than GPT-4 when creating outputs. The interesting question is, why is 4 so much slower? The answer can be found in the reasoning and conciseness categories. The reasoning of ChatGPT-4 is way more advanced than the reasoning of 3.5. But what is reasoning actually? From a human perspective, reasoning means that you answer in a logical way, so you provide an answer based on the question you get and all the things you know about the topic. So you consider all factors you are aware of. As we learned in previous episodes, although ChatGPT feels quite human-like in the conversation, from time to time it actually is a large language model. It was trained with lots and lots of data and established connections between the different data it was trained with. As ChatGPT4 was trained with way more data and is also able to process a lot more data, it simply can calculate the probabilities for the next character, word or sentence based on a bigger database. And therefore, the information ChatGPT4 provides or the output it provides is way more elaborated and more logical. Therefore, we have this big difference between 3.5 and 4 here. Same applies to the conciseness category. There, ChatGPT4 is also way stronger than ChatGPT 3.5. Conciseness here simply can be described as efficiency. ChatGPT tries to provide the output with all required information with as less words and as less tokens as possible. So to summarize this slide, 3.5 is the faster model, but 4 is the more powerful model. So for simple tasks, for simple questions, you can use 3.5, but for more complex tasks, you should go with version 4. Let's see a practical example now. This example is actually an official example by the OpenAI team, but I think it's a great one to show the differences between these two models. In a nutshell, this example is all about finding a 30-minute meeting slot for three different people. Everybody has different availabilities and now we ask ChatGPT what would be the slot where all people are available. The only working solution here, so the only working time slot for everybody is 12 p.m. to 12.30 p.m. So noon to 12.30. So here I am back in the plus version of ChatGPT and there I selected the default 3.5 model, which is of course available with free version as well. We now paste the prompt, the message or the question, whatever you want to call it, in the message box and now I will submit it. Please note that I pasted the prompt without any paragraphs. We will learn that it's important a bit later in the upcoming episodes. Here we have the output chat GPT 3.5 provided and obviously we have two different options. The problem is though that second option is incorrect because actually the only time slot that works for all people is noon. So 12 p.m. and ChatGPT 3.5 was not able to find this logic. If we take this sentence now and open a new chat window and select ChatGPT 4 instead, let's see what the output looks like here by sending the same prompt to GPT 4 as well. You should know now that ChatGPT has a randomness factor integrated. Therefore, if you write exactly the same prompt, you won't get exactly the same output. Differences can refer to some words only. Some sentences but also in general content can and will be different to the one that you see here on my screen and also on your machine. If you resend the same prompt again and again, always keep this randomness in mind. So as we can see, in contrast to 3.5, ChatGPT4 was able to find the only working time slot was 12 p.m. As you see, ChatGPT4 is the more powerful model, so to say you can also use 3.5 to play around or if you have simpler tasks that you want to perform. 
but our recommendation will be chat gpt4 and therefore we will also use chat gpt4 for the recording of this prompt and during podcast episodes from this point on but you can still learn and practice all our upcoming stuff with gpt 3.5 as well so this is it recording the models we will now have a closer look at prompts in the upcoming episode so stay tuned and bye bye Thank you.